Catholic Church blasts calls to end mandatory celibacy and the secrecy of confession. The Australian Royal Commission into Responses to Child Sexual Abuse has delivered 189 recommendations to the country's institution after estimating that tens of thousands of children have been abused. The report said, We now know that countless thousands of children have been sexually abused in many institutions in Australia. In many institutions, multiple abusers have sexually abused children. We must accept that institutional child sexual abuse has been occurring for generations. The failure to understand that the sexual abuse of a child was a crime with profound impacts for the victim, and not a mere moral failure capable of correction by contrition and penance. is almost incomprehensible. The situation in the church was described as a serious failure by the work. The commission also labeled the abuses as a national tragedy. Australia's Catholic Church was targeted in 20 of the recommendations that included screening tests, mandatory reporting of religious confessions and a suggestion that celibacy for priests should end. Reports state that 61.4% of those abused in religious institutions claimed incidents had taken place in the Catholic Church. The report was rejected by Anthony Fisher, the Archbishop of Sydney who stated that breaking the secrecy of confession was a distraction and added that ending celibacy would not guarantee an end to the abuse claims. He declared, I think the debates about celibacy will go on however people respond to this issue. We know very well that institutions who have celibate clergy and institutions that don't have celibate clergy both face this problem. We know very well that this happens in families that are certainly not observing celibacy. It is an issue for everyone celibate or not. Archbishop Fisher went on to say that stopping the practice of confession would be a real hurt to all Catholics and Orthodox Christians and I don't think would help any young person. However, the Archbishop did admit that the abuse claims had damaged the credibility of the Church in the broader community. Despite the strong resistance from religious members, change in Australia is definitely possible, according to Gary Boma, a professor of sociology at Monash University in Melbourne. He explained, We have heard the most horrific accounts of abuse during this inquiry and the Catholic Church knows that they need make changes after so much outcry. It won't be easy and there will be a big pushback but ultimately we may see change. Dennis Hart, the Archbishop of Melbourne, revealed that he couldn't report any child abuse if it was revealed during a confession. He stated he would certainly insist that if a person came to me and confessed those heinous crimes I would refuse them absolution until they went authorities. The recommendations from the commission were described as devastating by professor and former priest Day Cahill. The consultant on the inquiry said, This report is devastating for the Catholic Church and it's the first time any appointed government inquiry has called for the end of mandatory celibacy.